All right, so today we're gonna just look at doing some basic maintenance on your RC boat. Uh, I'm about to go out and uh, run a couple sets of packs through the old Titan, Aeromarine Titan 29. Got my chargers charging over here. Uh, but before we do that, we need to go out there and grease the shaft and we need to lubricate the motor and just do some ba basic maintenance items. Um, guys, I'm in no way an expert. Uh, I'm just sharing with you how I've done it for the last three, four years. Um, so we're gonna start with some basic oiling of the motor bearings. Boat stays pretty dry, but I always like to just get those bearings, a little bit of grease or oil, oil, get that rear bearing, and grab the boat the other way, and try to wick a little bit of oil down here. Just like that. Back on the stand. Give it a little twisty twist. All right, so that's good for the motor. Let's talk about shaft greasing. I know, it's a taboo subject. No man wants to talk about greasing his shaft, but it's an important topic to discuss. Um, I always like to have a couple Teflon washers on my shaft. Uh, get all the moisture off of it. Guys, after you boat a hard session, pull it out. Don't leave it in the boat after a hard session and clean up the rest of the boat. Um, pull the shaft out, get the moisture off of it. You don't want rust accumulating on your shaft. Chafage is a bad shaft thing. So let's get all that old grease. It's pretty darn clean. And you know, again, I'm gonna show you something I like to do, you know, again, you can do it, you don't have to do it, but I like to put some oil right down here in the strut bushings. This is just a, uh, a bearing oil, is all this is for like electric motors. Put a good amount in there. Yes, I'm gonna put grease in this area, um, but I'm still just gonna put just a little coating of this bearing oil on this area here. Okay. So let's talk about the grease, all right? Um, I've used a few different ones. I, I don't think you can really go wrong, personally. You know, we got this uh, high performance, high cable cable grease, got this at OSE, Offshore Racing. Uh, Grim Racer grease, can't go wrong there. Uh, good old Prather, old school, 7145 grease. I don't know, if I had to pick a favorite, I don't know, I like this one, it's thick, pasty, uh, it seems to stay on my shaft better. You want your lube on your shaft. So let's get some of this out. And, you know, again, I know this is a taboo subject, greasing one's shaft, but we're gonna, we're gonna go through and see how I do it. All right, I just like to give it a good mild coat. I wanna make sure you get 360 degree coverage around your shaft. Uh, might use the two finger method. Um, I avoid the top, you know, cause that part, a good significant part of that is gonna be going into that collet down there. And there's no need to grease that up. I want the collet to grab it. So I've always been in the habit of not greasing the tip of my shaft. Uh, like so here, you just want a nice medium. You don't want to cake it on there because when you shove it through the hole, it's gonna come out all out the side, you know? So you don't have to use a crazy ridiculous amount. You just need to get a nice coating on it. Get the two finger method, get it up there. All right, so I think that's pretty good. So I leave the greased finger because you're gonna take some excess off here in a second. Okay, um, I'm using a shaft saver. You know, I know some aren't keen on these things. I broke a, sh a shaft or uh, what did I do? I lost a prop a long time ago. So I've always run one of these things, personal preference. Um, so yeah, let's get this greased up shaft shoved in the hole there. I like to give it a nice spin. She's coming through. Now, another thing I like to do is I like to get in there and try to at least wipe because there's grease in, in there. I, I like to try to wipe some of that excess off while it goes into the collet. So the collet has the best chance to bite really well. OK, 
Okay. Alright, so that looks pretty good. Take care of that here in a second, but first, let's get the shaft saver in there. Real quick. There it is. Make sure your collet is loose so you can get it. Ah. All right, now you don't want to do that. You don't want to just jam it all the way in, you know, have a little bit of respect. Um, you don't want to bottom out your shaft. That would be a bad thing too. Got a little excess grease. Sometimes I save that, you know, memories. Um, so I like to leave, you know, it's the shaft's going to flex under load. You don't need to leave an enormous gap. I try to leave, I don't know, somewhere two, three millimeters worth. Here's a Here's a three millimeter wrench, for example. Um, yeah, that's about right. I might even go just a tad. Yeah, because there's bearing play. I think that's about good right there. So let's wipe that excess off so that when you power it up for the first time, you don't sling grease all over your house. Okay, that looks good. We're gonna get that collet tightened down to where it stops. Let's wipe any grease off from this area and then we need to tighten the collet it can sometimes be an easy thing to forget you get your shaft all greased up and you get excited and then you forget to tighten the collet got my trusty wrenches right here we need the nine solid okay lastly if you're running one of these collars prop savers shaft savers tighten it down not terribly much okay so that's it for the you know greasing always check bolts it's never a bad idea to check hardware bolts if you've been running yep see pretty loose a little bit loose that one's tightening up but always check your hardware it looks like we got some batteries done And uh, there you have it. I mean, basic toy boat maintenance, greasing your shaft, lubing your bearings, getting ready for your next run there. So there's uh, my tips. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you next time.